Hello friends! So I just spent some time this spring break putting together a second bag of learning goodies for you from our classroom and I gathered all the different materials that we are going to need um, moving forward with our learning at home, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just like the first time, I'm gonna show you all the different materials that you have, how to use them, how to take care of them, um, when we're gonna use them and things like that. So let's go ahead. So the first thing you're gonna get in your take home bag is this nice reusable plastic bag. It has a little handle like this, okay? And even though it's reusable, we have to be really careful with it because we don't want it to break. So inside of this, as you can see, there are all sorts of learning goodies. Okay. And even though some of these things might seem like toys, they're not things to play with. They're things that we're going to use to help us learn. Okay. So you get your baggie and you get to go ahead and open it up. And there are quite a bit of things in here. Okay. So I'm going to start with all the small things that you can see in the front just to kind of get them out of the way. Cause I know you're all seeing those and you're really interested. So we'll start with this one. So you're going to get a baggie of something that we call base 10 blocks. They look like this, they are wooden, and they look like toys, right? These look like things that we can build with and play with. These are a learning tool. Um, just like our Wreck and Wreck, they are a way to help us show numbers, okay? But these help us show really big numbers. So we can make really big numbers like mm, 36 and 48. We could make 82, we could make 100 even with these blocks. And I'm gonna teach you how to use these and they're gonna be really, really fun for us. So when you get these, you can go ahead and look at them, but don't play with them, okay? All right, next in your bag, let's dig in. This is really fun. I have something called a, ooh, a Judy clock. So this is called a Judy clock. They are little mini clocks that we can use to help tell the time. So you were gonna practice using a clock and learning how to move it and use it and all those good things, okay? So when we use this item in math, I will teach you exactly how to use it, okay? So right now, it's just something that's gonna sit in our bag. And then when we have our lesson on clocks, Penny wants to go outside, that's why you're right here at the bells. When we have our lesson on clocks, then you will learn how to use this and so get to bust it out and we will use it together. If you can see in the back here, Miss Tui has a big teacher version of your duty clock. So you have a little baby one and Miss Tui has a big one. Okay, so that is your duty clock. Next, I am so excited about this next thing. I worked really hard over spring break to make these for you. Um, they are very, very fun. So I made these with my own two hands. You get your very own Wreck and Wreck. I made you a little mini Wreck and Wreck, just like my big one. Um, it has five red beads and five white beads, five red beads, five white beads, so 20 beads all together, and you can move them across. So when Miss Tui is using her Wreck and Wreck to show you different numbers, you also get to use uh, your own Wreck and Wreck to build numbers and to help you add and subtract and all those good things. So. They are made out of cardboard, which means these can break if you are not gentle with them, okay? So keep them away from little siblings. Maybe keep them in a very safe place. If I were you, I would keep them in my learning bag so that they have a safe home to be and that they probably won't get ruined that way, okay? Um, the back is taped to protect you because remember the ends of pipe cleaners can be a little sharp. So I put some tape on there to help and then I wrote my name on there as well. Um, just so you know that these do belong to Miss Tui and that they do have to go back to me. Okay, so just like the Judy clock and just like the base 10 blocks, um, the Wreck and Wreck has to go back to Miss Tui. Okay, so next I got you some more mini erasers to add to your counting collection. So in this bag is a mixture of 20 mini multi-fix cubes that we can use for adding and subtracting and counting. And I gave you 10 new uh, mini erasers for your counting collection, and they are spring themed. So there's little froggies and little bees and flowers and, and things like that. So this is to help you count and to help you with your math. 
Um, if you want to put your 10 tower in here and your other mini erasers, that would be a good idea. You can combine them all or you can organize them. You could put your mini multi-fix cubes with your 10 tower and your mini erasers with your other counting collection. It's up to you, but I would keep them together. Very nice, neat, and organized. Okay. Next, we have two new sharpened pencils, a dry erase marker in case yours is starting to get dry. You can add a new one. Do not use this one until your other one dries out, okay? This is your backup, which means that once your one from home dries up, then you get to pull this one out and use it. But don't use it until it's dry, your other one, okay? And then you have this, and this is really cool. So I'm gonna do another video explaining all how to use this, but these are for your touch screens. So if you have an iPad, a Chromebook, um, a tablet, a Kindle Fire, or a Samsung tablet, these can write on your tablet just like a pencil would, but it's not gonna hurt your tablet because it's squishy, it's really soft. So we have these in our classroom and you a couple of you have used them before, um, but I think they're gonna be really helpful for Seesaw when you're writing or if you're trying to drag something. Um, it helps you get a little more precision, which means you get a little more um, specific with where you want those things to go and how you can write on the highway. So um, we'll talk about these in another video because they're very important, they're very special, and um, they are delicate as well. So we'll talk about those at a different time. So all these things come rubber banded together and I would add these back into your supply bag. So you have a reusable supply bag with your name on it. Um, and if I were you, I would put my pencils, my dry erase marker, and my stylus, that's called a stylus, in your supply bag to use when you're doing your schoolwork. The last little thing in this bag is something really special. Pull it out and show you. So I know that my kinder friends love Play-Doh, but not all of you have Play-Doh at home. So I thought I would use spring break to make you some homemade Play-Doh. Um, and give you your own little Play-Doh container. So every single one of you gets a little Play-Doh container just like this. And when you open it up, you can pop your Play-Doh out. It's nice and squishy. It's this beautiful light green blue color, perfect for spring. And it smells Mmm, so yummy. Miss Tui made this smell like lavender, which is a relaxing smell. So if you're feeling kind of worried about school or if you're kind of stressed, we say, you have some nerves, some worries in your tummy, you can pull out your Play-Doh and you can play with it. And the smell and the feel of the Play-Doh will really help to calm you down. It might not make things perfect, but it'll make them a little bit better. And you can know that I added a special ingredient to this Play-Doh and that's love. So you can feel a little extra love in your Play-Doh as you play with it. And you can smell it to help calm you down. When you found, are done with your Play-Doh, just like the ones in our classroom, it needs to go back in its container. So you have this little container with this nice lid. You can't just put the lid on top. That's not closed, look. The air can still get at it. So, we have to make sure that the lid is on tight, um, just like our caps of our dry erase markers so that this doesn't dry out. So go ahead and press down. And this one's cool because if you just kind of press the middle, it kind of seals the whole thing. So you don't have to go around the corners. All you have to do is just like that. Maybe double check to make sure they're all sealed. 